In today's video, I'm going to be using the LMR Cosmetics Bronzer Trio and Blush Trio. So this is the Hydrated Complexion Trio. It has a bronzer, a contour, and a brightening in this palette. And this is the Colorette Blush Trio that comes with the blushes. So to start off, I'm going to go in with my Rare Beauty Eye, Eye Primer. And I am using the Bambi palette from the Dis Disney Bambi X Colourpop collection. So I'm going to use the mirror in the palette for today. Mainly because the mirror I usually use is my sister's and it's in her room and I don't want to walk all the way over there and get it. So I'm just going to use my pinky and I'm just going to blend this out all over the eyelid. I did mention in my video that I uploaded before this one, so the video I uploaded on Tuesday, that I want to test out this primer again because I don't think I gave it a fair shot the first time I used it. And I definitely didn't because I noticed on Saturday when I filmed my Tuesday video that I actually did have makeup to take off. If you saw it, if you saw that video, then you'll know that when I first used this primer, I didn't have like any makeup at the end of the day to actually take off so I wasn't sure like if it was something from the primer like if it didn't just work well for me or if it was me because I was outside a lot and I was like getting sprayed with the hose a lot so it actually did stay on 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 Saturday so it was the hose that just washed off all my makeup so I'm gonna do a simple eye look for today the first shade I'm gonna go into is this color called Young Prince. So one day I was watching Nicole Con Consilio's video and she mentioned that she had a color switch. So I went and got one and it's super helpful. If you're taking a brush like this that has like product on it already, you can just like brush it up onto here to get some of the color off. It's not gonna get it off fully, but I mean, it's at least helpful. So that like the colors don't mix together so yeah it might be a little hard to see on camera but it's definitely less corally than it was before so i'm just going to take this color place it into my crease very light tan windshield wiper motion i'm just going to go in with the other eye and i'm going to go back and blend out my right eye so it's going to get some shadow down. So last week I uploaded my very first hair tutorial video where I show you how I like to straighten my sister's hair. She has very different hair for me. She's got wavy straight hair and I've got ringlets. So I wanted to give you guys a little tutorial on how I like to straighten her hair. And then I'm hoping for my next hair video it will be how to straighten curly hair like my hair. I've always had a love for not just makeup but hair and makeup. When I was in high school I took a, co a cosmetology course and it was honestly one of the best courses I ever took. I'm going in with kind of bashful now. The, the cosmetology course was one of the most fun courses I took and not because you learn how to like straighten hair in that course or anything or curl. I think we may have had like one curling um lesson like it was just like one class but we learned how to french braid we learned like the visible the invisible like the cornrows we learned about how to wash hair how to cut hair we also learned how to do nails which was really fun i didn't like i knew how to do my nails but like i didn't know like the proper techniques when it came to painting nails so we learned that and it was overall just a really fun course and it was one of the courses that i truly did enjoy so i'm excited to bring you guys some hair videos as well i'm going to take little april shower and place this on the lid i'm just going to tap it on giving it like a very light rub once i get it into place but yeah, if there are any hair videos that you guys want me to do, I have so many ideas. I did my sister's hair for her prom when she had prom back like years ago. So that is definitely going to be a video that I'm going to do. It was so nice. Her hair was pinned back. I had like a waterfall braid on this side. I had curls. It was beautiful. So this is the bronzer trio, the complexion trio that I got. Mine is in the shade medium tan 
And I'm going to go over this once I get to bronze it and blush, but I'm going to take this brightening shade called I'm Woke. And because I don't use concealer, I don't have anything to really set down, which is what I believe a brightening shade does. It helps brighten up. I'm going to use this as my brow bone and my inner corner highlight. Ooh, that makes me nice. Right? So I'm going to go in and do my under eyes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm going to skip my waterline and my eyeliner for today just because it is a bit late that I am filming this video. But for mascara, I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Not not natural origin mas mascara with olive extract. I love that this mascara has the word natural in it because it literally just does give your your lashes that natural look. Just enhances the natural lash. I just want to show a quick comparison. This is my eye without mascara. This is my eye with the mask mascara, and I just I honestly think this uh, mascara gives such a enhanced to your natural lashes. I just love it for like an everyday basis. Okay, my eyes are done and now I'm going in with my Rare Beauty Always An Optimist Ill Ill Illuminating Face Primer and I'm going to apply this off camera and I'll be right back. And I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Foundation Brush and I'm going to apply my Tarte Cosmetics Maracuja Tinted Hydrated in the shade 34N. So I've noticed when I do apply this primer the last few times, I get this like thingy that turns into like a cooly feeling. Has anyone else who has tried this primer gotten that feeling? Or is that just me? I honestly didn't think this mini size of the Tinted Hydrated would last me this long. I remember when I first got it, I was like, whoa, that is so small, but it's actually lasted me, like, I want to say five times now that I've used this, maybe six. It's lasted longer than expected, which is good, because now I probably actually will take it when I travel, because I know it lasts long. Okay, the Complexion Trio, the Hydrating Complexion Trio, this is in medium tan. So on the back here, it says to use the brightening shade to il illuminate under the eyes, the bronzer shade to add warmth to the perimeter of the face, and the deepener shade to create depth around the cheeks, forehead, and jaw. So we have I'm Woke, the brightening shade, Soul Terra, the bronzer shade, and always summer the deepener shade so i'm going to go in with the bronzer in the palette one thing i can already say that i do like is how it has like the little mark of the brand's logo in the palette i i like when brands do have like little designs like little marks in their palettes and so i'm going to go ahead and bronze adding warmth to the perimeter and i'm going to go around my forehead as well i'm just going to like rub it circular motions okay so I, I turned down the brightness of my ring light there's like 11 settings i had it on the highest so i turned it down a bit and i am starting to see the bronzing one thing i've learned with bronze is to use a very light hand and always apply a little bit at a time you definitely do not want to overdo it so i've learned to apply a little bit and take your time okay so there we are the bronzer is on i i like this i think it's really nice i do i am going to try it out a bit more the only thing i do that i'm just like a bit concerned about is when will i use the brightener and the deepener shade because personally i don't like to contour but then i mean we just use that brightener shade as a inner corner and brow bone highlight and you can always use the deepener shade on your eyes so I'm excited to try to try it out in those ways and we have the Col Col colorette blush trio medium tan there's three shades these are the three shades we got a peach a pink and a purple and on the back it says one with a fluffy brush with a fluffy blush brush locate the apples of the cheeks and apply two blend blend our brushes are highly pig pigmented blushes are highly pig pig pigmented blend until you have your desired look and three finish your look with some setting spray to lock it in in place all day or night long so i did a bronzy eye on purpose 
because I want to use this pink shade on my face. I'm going to take my ColourPop F2 blush brush. I'm going to locate the apples. Blush. Apply. Ooh. That's a really pretty pink. It's like really pretty the color. It's like super pretty this color. It's like such a nice sheer warm pink. But like not too warm either. Wow. This is so pretty. Okay, so there's the blush on both cheeks and I really like it. Wow, this is so pretty. Gorgeous. I really like this blush. I am super excited to try the other two colors in this palette. Like, it's so pretty. For highlight, I'm going to take the pink and cream shade, mix them together. I've seen some face palettes where they have like a blue and like a purple highlight. And I'm always like, that'd be really cool to try. I think Anastasia had one of those. I think that's where I saw it. They had like one of those like glow face palettes. And there was a blue and a purple in the palette and I thought to myself that would be a cool highlight to try. I'm going to set it all down with my NYX Bear With Me setting spray and for our lips I'm going to go in with the Kylie Cosmetics 20 lip kit. Have you guys noticed that the Kylie Cosmetics Instagram page is blank? It has one photo of Kylie that says something's coming and then if you go to her Kylie Cosmetics site, it actually gives you a 404 error or that like they're updating the site. So I am interested to see what is going on, what she comes back with. I knew about the Instagram page before I knew about the website, but I found out about the website because I was going to order another autumn lip kit. I noticed mine was like getting a bit chunky, but I can't because the website is under construction. So I'm, I'm excited to see what she comes with. Going in with the matching lipstick. Okay though, that's it. This is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the little look I created. I loved this blush so much. I'm excited to try the other two colors. But that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching. It means so much to me. Leave me a comment down below of what kind of video you would, would like to see next. Again, thank you so, so, so much for watching. It means so much. It really does. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye!